What's up guys, welcome to The Other Refinement. In today's video, we're gonna go over exactly how fast you should grow your resale business. All right guys, this video is a long time coming. A lot of people have asked me, how fast should I grow my resale business? So I'm gonna lay it out here. I've been doing this for a long time, six years full time. I've learned a lot from our Facebook group. I've learned a lot from talking to people in person. So I'm gonna give you the formula that I think is the safest way to do it. So we're gonna start with a listing habit of two per day and a store size of 100 to 200 items. So you're listing two a day, whatever they may be, it doesn't matter what they are. And at this point, you're selling at least one a day. So you're selling half of your listing. So you have between 100 and 200 items in your store and you're listing two and selling one or two per day. In this scenario, I would say that you have a really good grasp of what to start buying. You get an idea of what's available in your area. We talk a lot in our group about the zip code call, which is focusing on items that are specific to your local area. So finding items in your area you have 100 to 200 items in your store. At this point, you're starting to figure out a storage system. Maybe you're in a spare bedroom. You're starting to figure it out. And if you are a much larger store, take a small section of your store, 100 to 200 items, and just get a feel for this. You're starting to get an idea of how to compound your results. So one to two a day. Now you wanna increase your listing goal. In our group, we talk about having a two week draft bank. So if you're listing two items a day, that's 28 listings. That is two times 14 days. So you have two weeks off. So essentially what you're gonna do is list about 10% more per week until you actually reach that goal. So two listings per day over the course of a week is 14 listings. So each week list 15 listings, so one extra until you have 28 items in the draft bank. So now your draft bank is ready. You could have two weeks of family emergency, two weeks to go visit Europe, and your listing, your store will remain the same. So you have that all set up. Now you're ready to go to the next level. You wanna increase, what do you do next? So this is my official recommendation. List a little bit extra. So instead of listing 14 per week and putting two into the draft bank, list 15 or 16, or maybe go on a draft marathon. In our group, there's people who are like getting together with, for four to eight hours and having a listing party and getting that draft bank bulked up. Once you have 28 extra listings in the draft bank, so that's two for 14 days to cover that growth for the next level. So you're at a two a day listing, you're gonna switch to a four a day listing. You have twice the draft bank now ready because it's always difficult to make a change. So once you actually increase your goal and you're listing twice as much stuff, you want twice as much of a buffer in case something happens. So at this point, you're ready to grow. So now you go from two listings to four listings a day. And at this point, you stay at that level until you grow from one sale a day to two sales a day, and then repeat that process over and over again. As slow as this sounds, over the course of two years, if you did this, at the end, you'd be making six figures a year, more than $2,000 a week, just with this increase, because the increase incrementally becomes more difficult as you grow. So in the beginning, it's actually quite easy to go from two listings a day to four listings a day. But as you start to grow your store towards the end, going from 20 a day to 25 a day, much more difficult. 25 to 30 a day, much more difficult. But if you stay true to this formula, you won't make this huge mistake, which is what people do, which is they'll list 20 items and sell none. Then they'll list 30 items, sell one. And they're like, okay, it's starting to work. So list 100 items and sell three. And what ends up happening is your store gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and you don't actually sell anything. So you don't have all the right habits. So. Sometimes when people do that, there's like a little bit of a mistake in a sense that they're pricing their items too high. So good items, but they're priced too high. All of a sudden they're like, I need to do something drastic, like a really, really high promoter listings rate, a discount and a big coupon. So they do like a triple discount to bring the price from something ridiculous of like say $60 down to let's say $14.99 plus shipping. Let's say it sells. All of a sudden they were selling one or two a day. Now they're selling 20 a day and they're not used to it. So they end up losing a couple of items and eBay gets mad at you. And I was just joking in my live call where I said that eBay's like, you're sort of dead to eBay if you screw up, but that's how it is. Like if you no call, no show on a first date, you're giving a big red flag to your potential partner that I'm not reliable. 
So if you are running an eBay store and you just build up your inventory bigger and bigger and bigger because you're not doing it the right way, and then all of a sudden you offer a huge discount and a bunch of items sell, you're most likely gonna lose a couple of items, customers are gonna be not happy, you're not gonna ship on time, you're gonna have some returns, you're gonna have some item not as described happen to you, and eBay is gonna be mad at you, and it will take you time to earn that trust back. That also happened on our live earlier. What happens if you screw up? Everybody screws up, just don't make it into a habit. Happens one time, it's fine. Happens two times, now you're creating that habit. So really important, guys, to think about growing your listing goal being something you've done for a long time. I've been growing my listing goal for six straight years, um, and it's gone from just starting around the house to literally seven figures and hopefully eight figures soon one day. So I'm just thinking of it really small. Start small, grow your listing goal by two, be fully prepared with that 28 item draft bank, be patient. That growth can take 140 days, which is like five months. So five months to grow by two listings sounds slow, but the next time you do it, it'll be five listings to grow by four. Five, five months to grow by eight, five months to grow by 18. They'll keep growing and growing to the point where Tekken Sports did it over the last 13 years, sold more items than anybody, put more items in the bank, or put more cash in the bank than anybody else. Most and best came from incremental small improvements and doing it right the first time. So if you have 100 to 200 items in your store and you still don't have regular sales, you need to slow way down and figure out how sales works on an individual basis. Um, I've told this story a few times now, but it's really important to start small and figure out the market for every single item. Um, when I was selling uh, an everything store, meaning like blender, books, shoes, clothing, all of those markets, if the price set at a different a different amount, take pictures a slightly different way, different item specifics, different title structure, different return policy, some were free shipping, some weren't. Some might charge a lot for shipping, some might charge calculated shipping, all different because they're all different types of items. There is no one way to do this, but there is one way to be safe, and it's to wait for you to sell at least half of your listing goal and have a draft bank of two weeks for every single item. Last question that came up a few times was, What's the difference between draft bank and scheduled listings? They're the same to me. When you're doing a draft bank, you can just hit save draft at the end and you call it a day. When you're doing scheduled though, you have to be a little bit more mindful and think, when am I scheduling these out? Um, I recommend two weeks ahead. And another thing that came up was, well, isn't that a lot of money tied up in two weeks of inventory that's not listed? It is, but there's a lot more loss that would happen if you miss your listing goal. So this is the most important part, so I'm glad that you guys watched all the way to this part of the video. Um, please smash the like button, consider subscribing if this is useful. But if you list consistently every single day in one category, eBay's algorithm will give you the similar amount of traffic every single day in that category. This is why some people will say, I have a really good item listed, why isn't it selling? Why is there no traffic? Why isn't there no watchers? It's because that's out of the ordinary for you to list that type of item. So it's out of the ordinary for eBay to give you traffic versus if you list the same kinds of things every single day, eBay has an idea of what kind of customers to send you. Um, eBay's algorithm is just designed to help customers find what they're looking for. You need to be the person that's providing what they're looking for the best in order for eBay to recommend you. It's just like YouTube. If you found this video, it's because somewhere on YouTube, they think that recommending this video to you would be of value. So please help me out. If you've never subscribed to my channel, I talk about this stuff endlessly. We're gonna do live events. We have a Facebook group at patreon.com slash the resource podcast where over 2,500 people talk about this exact same thing all day so that your spouse doesn't have to hear about you talking about it at dinner anymore. So I appreciate you guys. Until next time, make progress daily.